Hey y'all, what's going on? Redneck Ruff here, and welcome back today to Hannibal Boyfriend, the Bird Fucking Simulator 2014. Actually, 2013, right? Redneck is a human? Redneck is a human? Can you still swim? Yep. Uncle Sun challenges you to a race then. Uncle Sun has never swum against a hominid. So you're fast in the water as well as on land? Naturally. Uncle Sun is the fastest in all things. Hopefully not in bed. Alright, then let's go. Get set, go! Uncle Sun is running across the top of the water with incredible speed before the signals stopped ringing in my ears. That's not swimming. Uncle Sun is victorious. You are slow, redneck. And so I learned that I would need to redefine my very concept of swimming before hoping to defeat Oko san <laughs> uh, We get our finals back today. Not sure if I did too well or not. Hey, Ruff! Uh, sir? You sucked the place up. You did horribly. I hope to never see you in my classroom again because you're being expelled or at least putting off being put on academic probation. Sorry, get the hell out. Try harder next time then, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. Oh, fun day today. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems short. But either way, it's summer now! Summer loving, have me a blast. Summer loving, happen so fast. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I should help clean up the club room and check all the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Oko Kusan looks excited. Not angry for once, but still, this is an improvement. What are you doing? The floor's covered in beans. They're cold. Looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance and supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Uh, scold him. Oko-san, stop it. These are Oko-san's beans. You cannot interfere. Be quiet. Where's your pride as a captain of the track team? Come at me, Whippersnapper. Wing attack. And so began a food fight that spanned several hours, the floor washing blood and beans. Wait, blood? You've got guts! Uncle Sam will step down in light of your determination. <laughs> You're <sighs> not bad yourself, Uncle Sam. I think I just... I think I just got rival zoned. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Hunter gathers body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today and then get lost and get a ride back on a lesbian scooter. Make these go by faster, please. Oh, Godzilla was hopping around. Tokyo City like a big playground. Seriously, that's what that picture always reminds me of. The ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. God, I remember watching that back when I was in, like, fucking 7th grade. 7th or 8th grade. 8th grade, yeah. AlbinoBlackSheep.com I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I was wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. Hey, you. Hmm? I don't know you. Where'd you come from? The sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing resting on a motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure, though. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pidgeot Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ugh. I wonder if we'll be able to run home again. Mm. I like gutty ear, Jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. 
Come on. The Intimidating Sparrow gestures at her scooter. <clears throat> it's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Thank you. May I ask your name? Goshiba Azami. That's how Taki Yaki. Kami Azami. Thank you, Azami. Wish they had a human portrait for Azami. I think she'd be cute. You're a very conscious driver. Carving into your soul, kid. One accident all it would take, and that'd be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to you. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. <sighs> Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carving into your soul. Speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Well, on traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law, too? That rules for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at a zombie's hyper cautious speed, and by the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. Hey, Kyle. Uh, forget it. I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures and go to work. Slacking off and having fun is more the high schooler thing to do. We. Oh, there's local summer festivals tonight. I think I'll go with some birdie. I will invite Sun. Is it true that you will take Uncle Sun to a wonderful place? Yep. Today's the summer festival. Let's go together. Uncle Sun smells excellent things. Uncle Sun's excitement is almost a maximum. There's a lot of good food, more than we could ever try. Perhaps even pudding. Oh. Probably not. Never seen a stand selling pudding. Oh, look, the fireworks are still starting. Aren't they pretty, Okosan? Okosan? Where'd he go? Oh, cool! No, he's lost himself to the shining lights and returned to his feral ancestry. Calm down, Okosan, calm down! Just like a normal bird. I know I should have gotten up when I first woke up. Slept way too late. School starts today, right? And we'll be late. Oh, hello, Ruff. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overslept. Overslept? My homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Ruff? <clears throat> huh? Lots of number in the top left hand corner, say. Oh, you're just a little bit early. <sighs> well, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Thruff? I'm going to return to my glorious home, the caves, and just be a slacker like I am, because I'm slacker lacking. <clears throat> I must return to my people with the spoils of war. Lay my bloodied sword at the feet of my great king and celebrate my conquest of all the lands from here to distant Macedonia. Oh? Have fun! I must go. My planet needs me. Good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Uncle Son is always having fun! Yep, yep. What was this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Uh... Focus, sir. Focus! That's what you just told us. Yeah, this is the second turb. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning again. Is that a student ID? Hmm. Any teacher will do, right? Just go and try and return it. Sir! 
Oh. Hello, Redneck. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. Thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Redneck. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... You did find this today, right, Ruff? Yes, in the corridor just outside. This student's been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card laying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Ruff. Huh. Today's volleyball day. Take this! I'll go on Smash! How about, how about you? Yeah. A beautiful autumn day for all doves. You're in a good mood, Ogo san. Ogo san was granted a vision in his dreams. A vision? A vision from the Lord Pooty himself. Do you know the legend of Lord Pooty, Redneck? Clad in feathers of the purest white, his golden pudding steed shining like the sun itself. Um. At last he returns. At last he returns to his lost home, guiding the pigeons to the pure promised land. Yes, yes, Redneck knows the legend! The Lord of Pudding appeared in Oko-san's dreams. The pudding must be nearby. Oko-san believes that one day Redneck might meet the pudding lord too. Oko-san must know. Now go. Farewell. Meow. What was that Lord of Pudding thing? No, well, today's a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe, and I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. So I guess I'll go take a look around. I'll hand Oko-san! I'll hand him at once! An all too familiar battle cry a man eats from one corner of the classroom. What now? Redneck, just in time. Ryuta? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at how they're just. I'll help hand Oko Sana face the consequences. Oko San's on duty today, but he doesn't like the dress. Woo! Woo -hoo! This is kind of looking like something PETA would start a protest over. Oko San refuses these constructing items. We have been fighting the nude! Oko-san 2014, real man fighting the nude. You can't go commando in a maid cafe. Come on. Look, it suits you. I'll put my mirror and hold him in front of him. Cool. Oh. He seems awfully... <laughs> He's trying to court his own bemated reflection. Well, apparently that's a pretty common thing for pigeons back in the day. He's never tried to court me. I guess I'm not as attractive as Maid Oko-san. Sort of like Narcissus. <laughs> uh, today is track day. We'll be timing each other, so I made sure to prepare to be in top shape. Huh? Why is the doctor here? You didn't know. I'm in charge of nutrition for all the athletic clubs. Your advisor asked me to bring some steroids today, but... Oko-san has no need for those. Bring Oko-san pudding or bring him nothing at all. As you can see, your captain doesn't want them. I prepared this just for him, and I'd really like to see how his body will react to it. Oko-san says he doesn't want it. It smells weird. Have Redneck drink it instead. Uh. Fuck it, I'll drink it. Whatever, anything to make the doctor get lost. No! No, what are you doing? It's not for humans. Uncle said no he could trust you, Redneck. You are his greatest ally. Oh, what was in that thing? Oh, whatever. Wisdom increased by 10. <laughs> hmm, an interesting reaction. Thank you. This has been most informative. 
I'm not sure why, but I think he, it made me smarter. Race to the other end of the field, Oko san. Cool. <laughs> oh god, Oko san. <laughs> Out of all the birds, I gotta say, Oko san is my favorite. That's all for today. Finals are coming up soon, so make sure to study hard. Hmm. Yay! Hey, Oko san. What is it? Been wondering for a while now. What is the pudding you're searching for? Pudding is pudding, naturally. But you know where Okosan could find pudding, Redneck? Um, let's see. Convenience store. Indeed, Okosan goes on. Ones. Wait, Okosan. Ah, uh, no, and he's gone. Cool. Oh, he's back. Redneck is a liar, a traitor to the cause. Wait, what? Okosan, stop! You're hurting me. There was no pudding, none at all, not a trace. Okosan hates you, Redneck. Why is this happening? We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Rough. Sir. You're getting better. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Apparently those steroids did make me smarter. Happy New Year! But it's raining. Oh well. I'd go to the shrine, but this weather makes the wilderness dangerous. I think I'll sleep in like sleep in like a good girl instead. I won't be able to send out cards in the rain either. Fiddlesticks. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope y'all had good vacations. I hibernated. Snoring, sir, you're hibernating now. I've said this before, but Eugenia will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. Yeah, it sounds like a Hallmark card. And term three begins. Huh. You know, it's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Oh, tomorrow's Legumen Times. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumen Times is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently you used to involve throwing them to pigeons. That was graceful. Good evening, here for beans? Yes, is there any kind that you think is particularly good? Uh, this is tremendous toward these bean medleys for races, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. And that's true, and sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... You know, I actually think you'd like the swollen hemp better. I'll take these. Thank you, Missy. Yeah. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbury. Okosan! Okosan, wait! What is it? Okosan was about to escape into the great outdoors! I have something for you. It's legumen times, remember? Here, hemp seeds. Goo! Goo! He seems really excited. Okosan, mm, a lot's happened since we met last spring. The semester's almost over, but I hope we can... Enough flotations! Hand over the hamper, no one gets hurt! He leaves me grabbing the package and scattering its contents across the floor. He picks up the seeds with emotion and speed reminiscent of a jackhammer. I don't think he's going to listen to my confession. Maybe I should have told him before I let him see the seeds. Oh well, at least he's happy. Munch, munch. Redneck is an angel of a pudding god! Come to this world to spread joy and goodwill. Uncle Son will remember this gift forever. I seem to have earned his lifelong trust with hemp. That's pretty cheap, lifelong trust. Let's go smoke a little out back, if you know what I mean. Finals are over. Time to coast along until spring break. Is the track team doing anything during break? I should go ask. Ogosan, are you in here? There he is. He has a bag of dry beans in a canteen. Is he going hiking? What are you doing? As you can see, Yoko-san is preparing to depart on a great journey. Over spring break? No. Yoko-san has quit school and is going on a quest. What? Yoko-san, you can't do that. It was a miracle for someone with a brain like yours to get into this place in the first place. And if you waste this chance, you'll end up a failure. Yoko-san will not be stopped. Yoko-san is going on a quest to seek the true pudding. What is the true pudding? 
It's not what I think of as pudding, right? Pudding is the ambrosia of the gods. Miracles and jiggling corporeal form. Change is shining within the seven colors of the rainbow. Those who partake, partake of its wobbling flesh will never experience sadness again. Seven colors of the rainbow? I'm not sure I'd want to eat that. You serious? You're leaving? Uncle Son never goes back on his word. Yeah, you know what? Uh, fuck it. Go with him. I'm coming with you. What? Fei Ming, this quest will be mortally dangerous. I don't care. If the true pudding really exists. I want to find it with you. Hmm. Uncle Son knows your abilities well, Redneck. You will not be an impediment. So you'll take me with you? Very well. Parts of a feather must flock together, after all. Hey, let's go! Until we get to the end of the rainbow! And so our great quest began. Yay. We ran for years across fields, forests, and mountains, searching ever onwards. And now we stay in the ancient, unexplored ruins of pudding. <laughs> These chests must contain the pudding itself! I'll poke us on open the lid, redneck. So, this is the end. Ha! <laughs> it is. Eyes! Eyes! There's nothing inside. A fake? Well, what should we do, Okosan? I guess this... Okosan? Clad in feathers of the purest white, his golden pudding steed shining like the sun itself. <laughs> At last he returns to his lost home, guiding the pigeons to the pure promised land. What's wrong, Okosan? Why are you talking? I am no longer the once called Okosan. I am now Puddy, Lord of Pudding. Okosan was but my avatar on this mortal plane. I am now complete once more. Okosan, what are you? I am grateful to you, fair one. I have at last achieved my goal. I am the bringer of true pudding. I shall bring about a world of pudding. What is this pudding you're talking about? Come on, tell me. Pudding is hope. It is the future. I shall now become the very concept of pudding itself. That's not Newtonian. I have enjoyed our travels together. However, you must live on and forget me. That is life. If you can fulfill the concept of pudding, I shall be satisfied. I shall not live or die. That shall be the concept of ideal pudding, never in wax or wane. There shall be no regret. Farewell, redneck. Okosan! <laughs> and so the world was engulfed in pudding. According to the fundamental principles of Okosan's new universe, every living being carries pudding in its heart. <laughs> all right that's gonna end it for today's video that's probably the best ending out of all of them so far well until next time i'm redneck rough see you in the next video get her done <laughs>